I'm excited about the Drag Brunch with T.S. Madison. The Drag Brunch is basically a fundraiser for the foundation TWOC, and they believe in giving back to the transgender community. So take a seat anywhere you like. I'm hoping the ladies will come and they will be open to listen to some of the things that the transgender community has to deal with. Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good weekend, good all that stuff. T.S. Madison is the girl. I mean, she's one of the biggest names in the transgender community. Thank you for having me put this stuff together for such an important call. All right, y'all, welcome to the Q&A part of the brunch, honey. You know what we like to do in our community is make sure that we bring everybody together, not just to feed and feast, but to also learn and stuff like that. And Goshe, I thank you for choosing me. So you put together this Q&A, so let's I do did. it. I did. So let's discuss and debunk the myth that T.S. is rumored to not, like, get along with black women. Wow, I didn't even see that question. My mother is a black woman. This whole embodiment right here is from that woman over there, you know? But that's the first woman that I ever fell in love with. My mom is my rock, my best friend. What can the trans LGBTQ community learn from heterosexual community and vice versa? Well, I do think that we can pull and learn from one another because we as LBGT people have been on the front line and have started the movements for civil rights. There's no way that trans can get free without you, and the truth is, you can't get free without us because our blackness is what ties us together. It's a hard question I want to ask O'Shea that gets asked to us. When did you know you were gay? Oh my God, I, that was the next question for your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I've been knowing it since I was a little kid. I've always looked at women as they're beautiful, they're sexy, and when I looked at guys, it just wasn't the same feeling. But the way that I was raised, there was no way that I was going to come out and say, I like women. After being on my own is when I felt free to indulge in this lifestyle. See, I knew that I was different. I didn't know it was gay. Well, I didn't know it was gay, but it was something. It was something. And I think that that is the question that people should ask, and that is the answer that we should give. We don't know we gay. We don't know we're gay. We don't know we're trying. We don't know. We just know that we're not what, what we are trained to be. Because I think that people in the world do not understand that LBGTQIA plus people come out in the in a world that's already put together. You know, we challenge the system. And ooh, oh, wait a minute, they done, wait a minute, they give us some money away. Gaucher's Topper's Bar has donated $1,000 to the Trans Women of Color Healing Project. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yes. This is why community is important. Goshe, thank you so much for doing this. If we ain't gonna take care of each other, nobody else will.